Laura McGarry, and I'm here to tell you that if you have a problem with varicose veins, the next few minutes are going to make you feel a whole lot better about the solution. It's not surgery. It's minimally invasive. You're up and walking right away, and it's highly effective. In fact, you may start seeing improvement immediately, and it's dramatic. I'm talking about going from this to this in an outpatient setting with no downtime. There was really no pain associated with the um, Elvis procedure. When they had finished, uh, they wrapped my leg, I hopped off the table, I walked out with very little discomfort. It's not an uncomfortable procedure. It, it went very smoothly and it seems like you're in and out within an hour. There was a minimal amount of uh, time lost. You wouldn't be out of work that long. And the amount of discomfort seemed to be uh, considerably less than a standard stripping technique. You could speak with the doctor while it's being done and not feel anything and get up and walk out the door. It's all done with the same principle that powers this pointer, a laser. In its simplest form, a laser is a highly concentrated beam of light. Medical lasers work by delivering this light energy to the targeted tissue, and they're being used in all kinds of ways, from eye surgery to dermatology. A laser is very safe. Well, I've been using laser for over 10 years in my practice. The new precision laser by Angiodynamics for the use of ablating the saphenous vein, which is probably what you have in terms of your varicose veins, is really a, a safe, effective, proven method. And I really have been very happy with it. It's certainly better than the old procedure of ligation and stripping. This established, proven laser technology is now being used for the treatment of varicose veins in something called the Endovascular Laser Venous System, or ELVIS for short, which allows doctors to perform quick, simple, virtually pain-free procedures like the one you're about to see. Your veins carry blood from the capillaries to the heart. In your leg, this means the blood has to flow upward against gravity. So the veins in your legs have one-way valves called flaps or cusps to prevent the blood from backflowing and pooling. Over time, the valves can fail to close tightly, allowing blood to backflow and causing veins to become engorged. This causes the bulging and twisting that results in painful, unsightly varicose veins. How does the laser fix this problem? Let's find out. The procedure is a very simple procedure. It takes approximately 45 minutes. What I do first to you is that I insert a little needle into your vein around your knee. Then I put a little guide wire into that needle, into the vein, which is checked by ultrasound, which is a non-invasive method of determining where it is in location to your vein. That guide wire allows me to pass a little tube up through your vein. Through that tube, I'll insert a laser fiber, which then I will connect to the machine. After your thigh is essentially numb, then I will activate the laser, and through a slow, continuous pullback, I will close your vein. It takes approximately two to three minutes, and you'll feel exactly like you did before you came in. Once I've pulled the laser fiber back, the procedure is done, and you can resume activities of daily living thereafter. I had no pain. I didn't have to take any um, pain medication. I think I took a Tylenol, that was it. That was about it, and I was up and running. I was at, I definitely was out for dinner that same night. You have no, you know, no signs of the vein anymore. No signs at all. They're gone, and um, that is the best part. It's 24 hours after my surgery. I feel very good. I had a good night's sleep. I'm not in any pain, and I'm really thrilled with the procedure, and the outcome of it has been terrific. I'm very happy. The veins that are closed off are superficial veins, which handle less than 5% of your blood flow and will not affect your general health in any way. That's it. The next thing you know, you're up and walking, resuming all normal activities and having much healthier looking legs to show for it. The bruising was gone, the veins were also gone, and they looked wonderful. I was thrilled with the results and I would recommend this to anybody. So be assured, you don't have to live with varicose veins, and you don't need surgery to get rid of them. And your insurance may cover it, so speak to your doctor about this exciting new treatment.